director of Asia Pacific Islander for Joe Biden, Amit Jani. Next, we have invited center member of our historic Democratic Party of Nepal, Nepali Congress, Ananda Vista. Next, we have the president of Wall Street News Agency, Yuzhiang Min. Now the special guest, we have retired Justice of Supreme Court of Queens, Thomas Rafael. Next, we have President of Letters Tenant Association, LTA, Michelle Dunson. Next, we have the chief of staff from the president, office of the president of Brooklyn Borough, Eric Adams, Dili Jawan. <laughs> Now, I recognize uh, some of our, our community leaders, politicians, social workers, social, social activists who have contributed to our community with a uh, kata. We're still waiting for our more elected officials on the way. John Sulu, Senator, Honorable Senator John Sulu is on the way to the masses.
I recognize uh, the chief of staff from the office of Honorable Catalina Cruz of San Arafta. Next, we have a president of World Yoga Foundation and one of the 12 recognized by the United Nations, Guru Dilip Ji. Next we have President of Metro, Mr. Joe.
So I'm the given uh, guest star approaching, they're on the way. So I'll hold on to that uh, acknowledgement now. And I'd like to call upon a podium our assembly member. District 24, <laughs> Honorable David Weprin, to talk about the whole scenario. And uh, I welcome you for the podium. <laughs> David Weprin. Good evening. Um, I wasn't really prepared to make a speech. That's, that's good news for, uh, for most of you. Uh, but it's, it's a great honor to have um, the uh, former Deputy uh, Prime Minister and fa Foreign Minister uh, here, uh, and the, the Chair of the um, uh, Foundation. Uh, I'm very aware of the work of the Foundation. I've been to uh, many, many of uh, your event events uh, over the years, and I'm so proud of the uh, diverse assembly district I have. Uh, I have um, close to 60% of my assembly district are first generation uh, born in other countries and uh, a large uh, Nepalese po uh, popul population, Bangladeshi population, Pakistani population, um, so many big things about Queens County uh, and uh, my assembly district is that um, sometimes uh, some of the countries that uh, some of my constituents uh, come from originally or their parents uh, or grandparents come from don't always get along. But we all get along here in Queens County. It's really, uh, it's really a wonderful thing. It's, a, it's, it's, it, it's so diverse, uh, but it's, uh, it's so important that we all learn about uh, each other's cultures. And uh, I want to thank you for, for your leadership um, in the uh, American uh, Nepalese uh, community and uh, all the good work uh, that you do and the foundation is doing uh, and anything my office can do uh, to help, uh, we're, we're always available. But um, again, I'm looking forward to hearing uh, from our uh, honored guest, uh, myself, and um, yeah, I don't think you necessarily want to hear a speech from me, but uh, I appreciate the uh, the honor, and I appreciate uh, you giving me uh, this opportunity. And uh, you know, I want to wish um, everybody um, uh, a great event. But uh, but more importantly, uh, the teachings of uh, of peace and harmony, uh, you know, and, and love for one another. Uh, there's so many things that uh, really we have in common and bring us all together. Uh, and I know the foundation. Uh, teaches that and uh, preaches that and uh, and does such great uh, humanitarian work as well. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Honorable David Whitman, for your valuable speech. Next, uh, I would like to introduce a uh, call up on the states, uh, President of uh, the First Students Association, Honorable Michelle Thompson, for a few. Good evening. Um, I thank everyone for inviting me, and I am truly honored to be able to stand in front of um, this organization that's been doing great works in the community. Um, because this is what it's going to take. It's going to take all of us coming together and working together for we have unity, peace, and love in the community. And again, I look forward to, to hearing from the guest of honor. Thank you for inviting me. And um, let's keep it going, you know? And you're doing a great work, Brother Rashid, Brother Sister Rahia. Thank you all for inviting me. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Next, uh, I'd like to call up on the podium. The fighter in the Philippine community and the attorney at law, Lara Gregory. It's an honor to 
be here, Suba Sandhya. I hope I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> Did I say it correctly? Yeah. So, so glad. <clears throat> thank you so much. Good evening, guys. And also, I, I know another thing, and I'm just so happy to be here, to, not just to be able to learn a new language, but to meet new friends, and also to continue the work that has been started in the community of us being united and working towards a common goal. You know, everybody mm -hmm. says that we all are different, but actually, we are not. In Queens, we are all alike. We care about the same things. We care about our family. We care about our work. We care about going to work and not having to battle other people just to get on the train, right? We care about those things. And we care about what else? We care about housing. We care about our families. And most importantly, we care about health. Just yesterday, I wanted to share this with you. Just yesterday, I was at the hospital. And um, it's sad that this girl, 27 years old, had stage four cancer. And um, after a year of battle and all that, you know, you know, she fought, her mom fought, but then she did not survive. So yesterday, I lost a friend, actually. But then you know what? It is not all sad. What just, what just it emphasizes is that we in the community do care about the same things. We care about health. We care about all the things that make us different. Maybe language. You know, maybe religion. None of these, none of these things matter. When you cut me, I bleed red. When anybody else is cut, you all bleed red. We all bleed red, right? Which is why it's very important that we remain united. We work for the, for the common goal. And we need to elect more women, ladies and gentlemen. We need to elect more women. Because you know what? It's your mom, your aunt. It's the former deputy minister and, and our current chair of the foundation. These are the women who work. And they don't, we, we don't care about beating men. We want to work with our men, right? I won't be standing here with you if not for the support of my husband and my family, you know? So we got to work together. We got to elect more women in office. And I'll see you later, all right? Lyra Gregory. Thank you, Lyra, for your speech. Now, uh, I'd like to introduce Priya Samant, a change maker. Work is an interaction of te te technology, film, and politics. She came here all the way from Boston. I would like to invite the podium. She came up from the Boston to attend this event. And it's our honor. Hello. Respected members, organizers of the event, and the audience. Thank you so much for inviting me to speak in the company of the esteemed leaders. My name is Priya Saman. I was raised in Mumbai, India, and since the year 2000, state of Massachusetts is my home. In 2016, I was the member advisor to the Tech and Innovation Policy team on Secretary Clinton's presidential campaign. Currently, I'm the Director of Business Development and Partnerships for Joint Venture in Digital Transformation, headquartered in California with offices in India. Our focus is on innovation and offering technology-based services offering and advisory services. We build cutting-edge solutions using frontier technology like artificial intelligence and data science. Nepal has been a great ally to the US and India. If I may, if I may, allow me to indulge in the emphasizing of some of the natural beauty and resources of Nepal for a moment. The country contains eight of the 10 highest peaks of the world, including Mount Everest and Kanchenjunga, the world's tallest and the third largest, respectively. Handicraft industry, and agriculture is also one of the largest industries. 
Of it is that. also a country rich in natural resources like quartz, water, timber, copper, cobalt, and iron ore. Today, digitization is the leading initiative of any company, organization, or governing body, whether in the US or any emerging nations, to grow and prosper. For every nation, innovation, investing in technology, empowering its youth and women is of utmost importance for peace and prosperity. The travel and tourism industry is one of the largest industries with a global economic contribution, direct, indirect, and induced, of over 7.6 trillion US dollars in 2016. It would be a great opportunity for a country like Nepal to promote and position itself in sustainable tourism. So how does travel and tourism get enhanced through innovation and technology? Travel and tourism is all about promoting the brand of a nation and it's primed to enhance through digitization. And this digitization creates job and are at, at all level of societies and put the people of the nation who are the heart and soul of any nation on prime display. People, places, and space. I believe digitization is the answer to the naturally beautiful Nepal. We are here to help and support. Thank you.
I introduce uh, our central members of Grija Prasad Kerala Foundation America, Ms. Sarada Chetri, she is here. We have uh, Ramdan Radhikari, she is a member of Grija Prasad Kerala, she is here. Now, our elected officials uh, are getting, uh, uh, I believe, we can understand very well to get their homes. So, I would like to call upon the stage center of attention. Honorable. for her valuable speech so that our elected officials, our dignitaries can listen to her. Then followed by the citizens from different elected officials. Stay tuned. I welcome the center of attention of this program is former Deputy Prime Minister, former Foreign Minister, and the Chairperson of the Foundation, Honorable Sujata Kuedala. Thousands. 
His efforts brought the rebels into the mainstream political politics and paved the way for abolishing abolishing the 239 years old Hindu uh, monarchy. The MCC Compact Agreement worth 630 million US dollar was signed between Nepal and USA on 14 September 2017. The agreement aims to enhance Nepal's energy connectivity and minimize transportation costs for economic growth and prosperity through construction of about 300 kilometers of electricity transmission lines and support for maintenance of 300 kilometers of roads within five years of the project's period. Lastly, I thank the GPKA Foundation America for organizing this great event with the presence of my respectable personalities. I salute you all and thanks again to the coordinator Somnath Ghimire and his team. I look forward strengthening Nepal-US relations more better way working together. I invite all my American leaders and friends to visit Nepal in 2020. It is a uh, tourism year. We are celebrating Visit Nepal 2020 and you are all invited. We will arrange, organize <laughs> program in Nepal and we will really look forward to seeing you all there. I look forward to meeting you all in celebration of our great leader Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday on March in New York. I'm really, uh, I'm really amazed, you know, we always talk about diversity in Nepal. I always thought Nepal is one of the largest country which has so many languages, culture and so much diversity. But in USA to see this diversity, I'm absolutely amazed and I really feel coming at uh, to, to my own home. It looks like, you know, I'm back to my house, home, and so friendly people. And uh, I really enjoyed, I stayed uh, five days in, uh, in um, Washington, D.C. We had a meeting with Asian political parties and with the congressmen, and we had an excellent time. We had a very interesting talk, very interesting communication. And uh, it was actually my first time in uh, USA. I came as a tourist. I came here. Uh, a few times also as a foreign minister I was here and I really love this country. I like the people and I like the political people also. I really enjoyed the talk. It was so relaxing, so nice and uh, very, um, uh, very like as if we know each other for so long, you know, that kind of feelings I had and I really uh, like to thank you all for coming for this program. Thank you very much. I introduce I introduce uh, here GPK founder <laughs> GPK Central Member Siam Karki is here. Our senior actor Bikran Basnit is here. And our senior journalist PK New is here. I would like to call up on the stage Honorable Senator John C. Liu. To speak. And before that, we have our South Asian emerging young leader, Joy Chowdhury. Please, John, John Sulu. Oh, Thank you, Samna. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, of, I always say, the Nepali community is the most happy community we have here in New York. Every time I go to a Nepali event, everybody is smiling. And today is a very special occasion where we have every reason to be happy because we have our incredible former Deputy Prime Minister, foreign, former Foreign Minister of Nepal, uh, Minister Kerala here and the chairman of this foundation. Uh, this is a foundation that has already had such incredible impact all throughout the world, and certainly within the growing Nepali community right here in New York. 
Thank you. Somnath, I want to thank you for organizing. Brother Somnath, he deserves a round of applause. He does a lot of work for the community. And, uh, you know, New York, and I know my colleague, Assemblymember Weapon, has already said so, along with Judge Raphael here and many other community leaders. New York, we pride ourselves on the strength of the fact that we have people from all over the world. You can travel the entire world without ever leaving New York or even Queens. Right, Hawk? You can go through the entire world without ever leaving Queens. And with that diversity comes our strength. The strength of our people, it makes us, it makes us strong culturally because we have so much culture and tradition here. It makes us strong economically because as the, the rest of the United States was suffering through a recession about 10 years ago, Queens we went through the recession a little bit, but we got through it much stronger than anybody else because we have uh, these guys we have the group all throughout the world, and that allowed us to weather the recession that much. Oh, so many of you are why very tangible reasons why diversity is the strength of our people here in New York. And so I'm here with Judge Raphael, and I know you've heard a lot of speeches already, and I know you've heard a lot of speeches already, and I know you've heard a lot of speeches already, and so I'm here, I know you've heard a lot of speeches already, I apologize for getting here, there's so many things happening in New York tonight, and the weather never helps when it rains even just a little bit, but I wanted to come make sure to pay my respects to our Honorable Minister, Welcome to New York. We are honored to have you here. I spoke with my colleagues in the State Senate about your visit and they are very much excited that you are amongst us today. So thank you so much and please come back often. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable John Sulu, our Senator. You work so tirelessly in the community, helping especially the police and he's always there for us. Thanks again. Now I, I, I'd like to call upon a stage for a few words from our historic Democratic Party, Nepali Congress, invited central member, Mr. Ananda Vista. Just one second. Thank you so much, my dear friend Shomo. Good evening, everyone. Namaste, Jai Nepal. <laughs> this is truly, truly honor for me to be here in this great evening. Our chief guest, Nepal's former Deputy Prime Minister, Foreign Minister, Nepali Congress leader, and Chairman of Grija Kursa Koila Foundation, Respectors Suresh Dadidi, all our elected officials, all our friends of Nepal here. We are so happy to have you all here. Give a big round of applause to our friends of Nepal tonight here. Thank you for joining us, and it is a great honor to welcome you all here. And all my Nepali friends, Nepalese friends and friends of Nepal from different walk of life here. And truly, truly honor. Uh, you know, I have no words to speak about this great leader, Giza Prasad Korela. I had an opportunity to work under his charismatic leadership. While well, our democracy was in crisis in Nepal back 2002, the second time, I mean, so many times, he took, took over the, you know, democratic people's rights and Elected Prime Minister sacked by the King Ganendra. Since that time, we have been working for democracy and human rights back in Nepal. So this is a great honor for me. Please allow me to speak a few words in Nepali as well. So by, by you know, a friendly in manner, I would like to speak a few words in Sujatiji also. Nepali Congress का सिर्फ नेता स्वर्गीय किसान प्रसाद को रेलगाड़ी कारण ले आज मुझे आंसर वाले गाड़ी बिल्कुल दो हजार दो ही माह जब बड़ा नेपाल में प्रदान दुर्ग आते हुए गुतियों तो बड़ा हम जैसे युवा आर्मी नेपाल में प्रदान दुर्ग प्रदान वाले लगे अमेरिका यूनाइटेड नेशन अंतर्राष्ट्रीय मानवाधिकार संस्थान से 
रो हम जो बाईस चौबीस वर्ष को युवा केटा कसरी इमर्जिंग करने कसरी संगठन करने कसरी डेमोक्रेसी पक्ष में आप यूथ हैंडल करने भाई कुछ वृद्धावस हमें सिका सौ हमें धेरे कुछ सीखा सौ तो वहाँ को योगदान ने प्रजातांत्रिक आंदोलन में लंग लास्टिंग पीस प्रोसेस में वहाँ पुराने भर योगदान ने जब समय ने देश रही रहता वहाँ को योगदान हमी सद डेमोक्रेट है संपूर्ण नेपाली लेकर अंतरराष्ट्रीय जगत ने वहाँ को योगदान को सदैं कदर कर करने मेरे लाभ होना यहाँ सबे मन हार्दिक धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ रुद्रा दीदी न्यूयोर्क में यहाँ हार्दिक स्वागत करना चाहूँ नेपाली कांग्रेस पार्टी को तरफ बार जनरल समिति अमेरिका को तरफ दीदी हार्दिक धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ और वाइट एवर यू आर डुइंग योग अर्गनाइजेशन को तरफ दीदी एकदम तब मैं हिजो अत्यंत खुशी लगे दीदी सब बिहार भेट के कुरा कर अब मैं फाउंडेशन तरफ गिज गिज जीपी कोरोला फाउंडेशन को तरफ म सोशल वर्क कर दीदी जो एक्टा कमिटमेंट देखा दीदी आई सालू टू यू तब को यह फाउंडेशन को उत्तर उत्तर पूर्व के कामना करना चाहिए और हम सद साथ सहयोग रहने फाउंडेशन को काम बने के दुखी गरीब लाई जो सहयोग करने जो जो उद्देश्य है सदैं हम साथ रहने भाई कुछ राख थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन फर गिविंग मी दिस अपर्चुनिटी थैंक यू वेरी मच डिप्यूटी पी एम Foreign Minister and the Chairperson of Virida Prasad Koirala Foundation, Sujata Honorable Sujata Koirala. Proceed down, Shivan. John, Senator John Silo. Thankful to you all for uh, recognizing me. मलिनी सहा community service And whereas such service, which is truly the lifeblood of the community and the city, so often goes unrecognized and unrewarded, now therefore be it resolved that, as a duly elected member of the New York City Council, I recognize that in Honorable Sujata Kurala, GP Kurala Foundation, we have an outstanding citizen, one whom is worthy of the esteem of both our community and the great city of New York, Council Member Paul. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Paul. From the office of Paul Kalam. Thank you so much. Also. Uh, Mr. Somnath Gimere, we would like to honor you also. He is not only active here, but he is very visible. He is doing a great service for the community. So we are very proud of you. Sorry, 
Thank you, Mr. Nino. Thank you, Mr. Nino. Thank you, Mr. Nino. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nino. Ladies and gentlemen, especially Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, a former Deputy Prime Minister, as well as Excellencies, 
Uh, uh, my name is Mo Chen again. I'm uh, executive director of Burma Point. Uh, I've been a part of this organization for the past 15 years, fighting for democracy and peace in Burma. Uh, today's event is very fitting. Please, uh, Barcelona. The beauty prime minister, only because um, it's, I also thank Sona for inviting me. Why is it fitting? Because we are going to be holding second community expo and resources day in Elmhurst, which is only a few blocks down. And this is going to be the second time we are going to be including the Pali community. Um, and so with this message, we would like to welcome the Nepali community to join with us at the Community Business Expo that is going to be taking place on December 21st, just a few days before Christmas. And so those of you Nepalese, if you are in small business or if you are attempting to do conduct any small business, whether you are going to be based in Queens or New York City, or whether you want to trade between Nepal and United States, you are definitely welcome. Please give us a list of names, a list of names, so that we can possibly coordinate together to make this event happen. The event is going to be sponsored by Queens Chamber of Commerce, and of course, um, uh, with the help of TD Bank, Foundation. And so this message is, of course, very fitting for me to be here to announce this. And I'm very proud to be here. And again, congratulations to our former Deputy Prime Minister as well as Sona for receiving all these uh, 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 honorary certificate from New York uh, 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 City Council uh, of Borough, Queens, uh, Brooklyn Borough uh, President. I hope that. Uh, Queensboro president could also similarly produce this to you, however, uh, maybe in the near future, hopefully. Nevertheless, nevertheless, for those of you Nepali who have been living in Queens and New York City, please let us know if you want to participate and if you want to, um, uh, uh, I would say, advertise, distribute information, any information about your businesses. You are definitely welcome on December 21st. Thank you. So now, with your help, uh, please help me coordinate with this. Sure. Okay. I will definitely do that. We work together as a team. We have a great team working for the communities, working for the people, working for the rights, working for the labor movement, working for the job placement, working for the immigration issues, working for the ICE rates. So we have been working tirelessly for the betterment of our community and we are still moving ahead. We need your support. Let's work together. And let us be counted for the coming census 2020. Now, I just received another email from the Senator Leroy Camroy. Thank you for sharing an invitation with me for Monday's meet and greet. Unfortunately, I am unable to attend. All the best for your event. Please feel free to reach out regarding the future events. Senator Leroy Cambry. Now, I introduce you, just I saw our more young leaders coming to this event. The President of NRN A New York Chapter, Ramari Adhikari. And introduce Community Board Member Number 5, Queens Community Board Number 5 Member, Garel Thapa. And World, World Yoga Foundation President, one of the renowned human organizations, Honorable Guru Dilipji, to say a few words. Namaste everyone. It's a great to see all of my friends from the UN, and the uh, political leaders, religious leaders, and community members. I'm so happy our brother is bringing us together. These are the leaders go to the ground work and bring leaders for the world. Like Jesus said, when you serve, you become the leader. All the leaders are the national servants. 
global servants. We are here to serve the people and we will make the change through our own actions. Thank you very much. Thank you, boys. Next, I would like to uh, call up on the stage Dr. Liu Ying, creator of Please Star. Dr. Liu Ying, please. Well, now very, very late, so I'm going to keep it very, very short. I want to thank Summer for, we uh, both had an event last uh, couple of months ago for Save the Planet event, which is very important, so that's why we're all here for. So, obviously, our greatest respect to the Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Secretary and the UN Ambassador, and obviously to my great friend there, Shahre, and Wall Street News Agency. Uh, so, we are here to campaign for the world, okay? Queens, like I said, is a great representation of the world. We have the whole world here. So whatever we can achieve here, we should be able to achieve all around the world. So I am so blessed to see so many faiths, so many cultures, so many religions, so many voices saying the one message, okay? Let's do it right, let's do it for goodness, and let's do it for humanity. So thank you very much for giving this opportunity. And whatever I can do, whatever my global organization can do, whatever the voice we can do to propel. I was in Nepal last year, and it is a beautiful country. And I was blessed. I actually saw the face of Buddha on a Buddha leaf. And anyone knows that it is very rare to see the image of Buddha on a Buddha leaf. So I, was, I believe I was blessed uh, to be associated to Nepal. So thank you very much again, and God bless you all. Thank you. <laughs> Now I would like to call upon our stage our honorary member and the mastermind of this uh, event and, 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 and the mentor, Dr. Muhammad Rasid. Please call, call, come up on the stage to say a few words, Dr. Muhammad Rasid. Calling. Calling. For a few words. Already announced. Already announced. Let us welcome our honorary member, Dr. Mohammed Rasid. What can we say, Gali? Can I? Sarve Santu Sukinaham, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadra Nishantu, Ma Kaschit Kama Praya. Namaskar, good evening, Salam Alaikum, Oinatardes. A country standing tall, very tall, between the two mightiest countries of the world, one is China and the other is India.